According to Community College Softball, had a season for the ages. A 29-3 overall record got on the top seed in the NJCAA Regional versus one old foe. That's TC3. And yeah, it was do or die. Losing, they are done. Corning hosting TC3 up on Spencer Hill. Top two, pick it up. Corning's Diamond Villegas throwing heat. She gets the K for CCC to the bottom half now. Rachel Rafferty getting this party started like Raffy. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, well, maybe not, but <laughs> her smash gets through short. That puts runners on first and second. Then Diamond helping her own cause here. She smokes a single up the middle. One run comes on in to score. One nothing triple C. Corning would add another one later on with Morgan Swan. She gets one on the fielder's choice for an RBI. Corning advances 8-3 to three with the win. Well, Cornell Lacrosse is in the NCAA tournament this time around. They say it's deja vu. The Big Red will tackle Maryland in the first round of the dance, just like last year. Now, Cornell is hoping for the same result as well. That's a win over the Terps. For the guys, a potential shot at Syracuse in the quarters awaits. But the first thing they got to do is get the job done again. We're definitely battle tested. Um, obviously, it'd be nice to be undefeated, but you know, with the losses, there's a lot to be learned. And uh, I think we're definitely a better team than we were at the beginning of the year and definitely a stronger team as well. We're playing some good lacrosse. We just know we have to play 60 minutes now. It's playoffs, and if you don't, then you're done. And, and our guys are very excited to go down there and play a full game against an excellent ACC team. All right, big time stuff at Cornell as well today with quarterback Jeff Matthews. The star QB was on campus to talk about the upcoming NFL draft and his chances at playing at the next level. Now, Matthews rewrote the record books at Cornell, basically setting every record there is. He hopes he just gets a shot. I've had so many unbelievable opportunities here, and, and it's, they've all led to kind of this. You know, it's, it's, I, I didn't know if I was a freshman. I always wanted an opportunity to play in the NFL, and I always worked for it. Uh, but to actually be here at this point is, uh, is pretty special. 